the A-frame is standing again, which can only mean one thing. Time to put the rooftop tent on the Land Cruiser again. This little hand car worked out well. I think the wheels were like $15 from Harbor Freight. Threaded rod came from Tractor Supply, maybe $15, $16. Time to roll it outside under the A-frame. All right, we up. So time to get the Land Cruiser under here. A Rev 2 of hanging the awning. Initially, I used L brackets attached to the 8020. Now, I'm attaching right the channel of the tent, which is right there. I purchased an um, angle bracket, two inches by 13 inches, and I just cut, just cut a bunch of pieces. There you go. Two inches by, I don't know, three and a quarter inches uh, high, because it was a 13 inch piece. And then from there, just bought some 3030 nuts right into the channel there, M6 size, and then bought some M6 hex nuts that slid right into the channel of the awning. I wanted this mounted higher, so I had to flip the latch. And the key was to actually make sure the latch could open. It has to be vertical, but yep, the latch opens. It's now upside down, but now it allows me to hang this awning much higher last year i think it came down to about here well here's the uh it's not angle iron it's angle aluminum uh two inches by 13 inches long 3 16 inch thick that worked out beautifully so I'll cut each piece to three and a quarter inches there's your stuff so amazon two of these for 24 dollars. boom there it is awning with fully deployed rooftop tent way better this year awnings much higher looks great so here we are one year later review intrepid geo 2.5 i could go on and on and on but doesn't need to be done because it is highly recommended awesome rooftop tent tons of room i'm 6'2 tons of room to be in there easy to sleep mattress pad eh, a little thin but i think they fixed that in their version 2.0 other than that, things I discovered, uh, maybe uh, I do have max track, not stay on the roof uh, just because of the weight level, so easy to take off. And I also purchased the uh, Intrepid uh, rails. Again, another high quality item. The cool part is they have this uh, little shoe bag, hangs right here. When you're climbing in, you just put your shoes there. Between the quality, the construction, the whole idea how this opens up, for a wedge type tent, not really. Uh, it just works great. No issues whatsoever. And then again, the company, amazing. I visited them uh, about, about in October of 2023. Just a really nice group of people willing to help. Just a great company right in, in Colorado. I think Boulder. A one year review, nothing to say different. They've made a 2.0 at this point. So and they've changed a few things. So in, what they have but again 10 out of 10 highly recommended if you don't own a rooftop tent this is the one to buy so right now I'll just show you some nice overlanding things I've added to the Land Cruiser uh, just to make it better for when I'm off trail uh, it just helps out I'll just go over some of the uh, really nice things I've purchased for overlanding and here we go so first off let's talk recovery points I Removed the tow points on the front of that Land Cruiser and I've added ARB recovery points. You need that if you're ever going to use a kinetic rope um, to get pulled out. A uh, tow point would most likely fail, possibly. But these ARB ones, heavy duty, uh, that's the way to go. And again, it's to avoid any kind of uh, traumatic uh, failure on the trail. These are built as recovery points. Also, I picked up a Rhino 30 foot 7 8 kinetic rope with a couple of uh, soft shackles. And then for the receiver, uh, you definitely do not want to use a trailer uh, receiver or ball. There is a horrific video of a ball coming loose and uh, killing the gentleman that was getting um, pulled out. Just let go and hit him right in the head and he instantaneously died. So this Factor 55, again, is a 
a made recovery point for your receiver. Of course, goes in here, uh, rounded edges, uh, works beautifully for the soft shackle. Spend the money, get that, instead of, you know, life threatening ball and hitch. Uh, and again, that's factor 55. Of course, of course, also recovery. You can't really go wrong with Max Tracks. I purchased those, I think, at Overland Expo in uh, Virginia. And then I came up, so of course, I'll show this later, but I purchased the Trepid roof rails and then built some pieces of metal. I'll show you that later, though. Uh, as far as the rooftop tent in general, uh, so of course, I added the Prince Hugh rack with the low profile light. And then through Amazon, I just picked up a bundle of these handles. Uh, they go nicely, helps you just get up easily. Another thing that is required, of course, is leveling on the front to back and then another level uh, right to left. So that really helps as well. Then picking up a whole bunch of these from Amazon to go under your wheels to level your vehicle out. So communication wise, Midland Micro Mobile GMRS radio is a 15 watt, pretty inexpensive around $170. That works great. That was figured for, for $170, you really can't go wrong for a 15 watt. They also make a 50 watt one, quite a bit more, but this was easy to put in. Again, just added it through the cigarette lighter there and then added a magnet instead of a clip. So clips on there nicely and then up on the roof really simple not a really it's just the one that came with it but trying it out just to see how it works oh purchase the rocky talkie 5 watt gmrs as ab for communication has weather this is a ruggedized beast made in colorado as well one of the best gmrs 5 watt radios you can get get this one it is highly recommended Oh, and I purchased this with my own money, being uh, when I find a quality product, I like to promote it. So this is a, a really great radio. I also added a power switch by Garmin. It's a Bluetooth controlled, control up to six different uh, devices via Bluetooth. Here's what the Garmin power switch interface looks like. You can see I can easily turn my front lights on and off. Rear lights, I used to have rear lights, and then side lights are set for dim. So pretty, pretty easy option. Another cool thing about the Garmin power switch, it allows you to dim uh, the lights. So you can see that uh, when you pull up the camp, if you don't want um, the side lights blasting, you can dim those down very nicely. So really a great product, highly recommended as well. Again, bought it with my own money. So to charge the battery in the back, I ran two power and ground cables all the way to the back of the car, ran it to through a 50 amp breaker. Uh, those are for AWG uh, wire, so that's plenty to uh, run 25 feet to the back. Barely can see it, but runs across the back and then through the firewall right there. Everything's wrapped with shrink, shrink wrap tubing, which was quite the chore. Then I came through the kick panel and then of course then around the pillar and then right to the back here. Down below, I have a Renergy 40 amp DC to DC converter. The battery connects into that with uh, 12 volts, but then it outputs 14.4 volts uh, for the big lithium ion battery right there. So I built this a big battery a couple years ago, 3.2 volt cells, 280 amp hours each. You connect four of those in series with a battery management system, a BMS, and boom, you have a mega battery. It was a little expensive to build, but I kept modifying it to meet my needs. The battery interface also came with a Bluetooth interface. Uh, you can see if I zoom in a little, um, currently the Dometic refrigerator is drawing 3.3 amps, and I'm about at, uh, you can see, batteries at... Uh, 240 amps, 280 amp hour battery, and I'm about 85%. Started the Land Cruiser, and now you can see that uh, I'm inputting 40 amps, or almost 40 amps, into the lithium ion battery, and it's uh, charging. So it 
shows basically, of course, the interface shows you what's drawing and then charging. So pretty nice interface. That works great too. And then up here is another Renergy item, a 200 watt uh, inverter. Uh, and that powers up everything that I need, uh, uh, which is pretty nice. And this is a Dometic CFX3 35 liter, which is perfect for my needs. It's just a refrigerator or a freezer, but uh, I was at REI and under their uh, return items, they had 20% off one day and for like $550 in their uh, returned item, but they took another 20% off. So I really couldn't say no. So again, that was a great deal really going on in there right now. Maybe a couple Coca-Colas, try it out, but it's really, it's really, it's really a nice unit. For the cooler, here's the Dometic interface. Allows you to just quickly change your settings. Let's see, come on, come on you, there you go. Uh, I can set any temperature I want, like say 39 and then boom, apply. And that's, that's that works well. Again, uh, purchased with my own money. Same with the Renergy, same with all this stuff. No uh, kickbacks from any, from any manufacturers. Up above, again, a uh, fan, uh, roof attic, they call it. That's a recommended item if you have a Land Cruiser. And of course, I purchased their Molly panels, which I still have nothing attached to them yet. So that and Land Cruiser people or whoever, uh, these are great uh, items to have. And again, purchased with my own money. Oh, back now. Uh, now we're on to the ARB drawer system. Works beautifully in a Land Cruiser. I have a bunch of flashlights, pliers, whatever, quick access, little headlamp, and then mountain bike accessories here, full toolkit, tons of flashlights. And then of course, what do we have here? Yes, that is a, it's an espresso coffee maker. And then of course the, how can you go wrong? Whipping up the milk as well. And then yes, tons of Nespresso pods right there. So pretty funny that I put this here, but it works wonderfully with that. 200 watt uh, inverter which works great the air compressor is stored in the left side over here and it's connected directly underneath to the 280 amp battery so can power up anything at any time i uh, also built a big octopus cable so i can easily plug into my air compressor and inflate or deflate all my tires the air compressor is always on or always plugged in so easily just you can reach down here power it on there there you go so that's always ready to go uh that was that was pretty cool so that worked out well uh, also the arb drawer unit i opted to get slide outs for both both sides because i wasn't sure where i was going to put a cooler so these work out extremely well i have to say and the easily uh, brings the cooler out opens it shuts and then cool thing i had a little uh one of those retractor cables for the uh, electrical cord just see it it just easily pulls the cord out of the way I, I stole that from somebody on the internet that was a good tip so that works great couple other things i discovered that this company that makes a great magnet mount, very strong magnets. I use it on my dashboard uh, for my cell phone up here. And this thing slides in and out. That's a recommended item. Uh, and this is the company. And the cool part is easily allows me to attach my mic right to it. For power charging telephones like that. So this is by, what's that name? Mr. Gas, Glass. This thing is about, uh, I think, what is it, Six, 60 watts and 65 watts. So again, divide by 12, that's five amps. Everybody else has two, 2.4 amps for charging. This is a beast, highly recommended. You wanna charge up your telephones or any of your uh, devices, this is the thing to get, fits right in the cigarette lighter. Buy this item. The Intrepid roof rails are just really, really quality product. Just grab some plate. Mounted the Max Tracks uh, mounting pins here and here, and it just worked out well. So, again, another high quality Intrepid product. Highly recommended. Go buy those. Here we are, ready to hit the road. The Max Tracks are on the roof, ready to go. Just reiterate that the Intrepid Geo 2.5 or the 3 or the Solo, 
highly recommended, probably one of the best products out on the market. Customer support, just amazing. Uh, great company as well. And uh, the people there, the work there are just great. So there you go, one year review. So now I hope you're in the process of purchasing your Intrepid Geo 2.5 or whatever version you buy because you cannot go wrong. That's it.